All right guys, back again on short notice with another collector's edition. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at the Days Gone collector's edition. Uh, this is probably one of my most anticipated games, or if not my most anticipated game of the year. Um, and not so much, I get I get that it's probably not gonna be up for game of the year or nothing like that, which I never really had high anticipations of it being like a great game. Just the fact that it's a new Sony exclusive, new characters, new story, um, just, uh, overall gameplay of it mixing zombies with a decent story from what it seems like just overall seems like something that i'm really been interested in I've been following this game for a couple years now and i get the reviews on this game are all over the place which kind of i'm not surprised about um i was expecting that to some degree but um yeah the video game store um retro store near me actually started doing uh, pre-orders like 20 percent off on pre-orders or whatnot so this is actually the first time i got to take advantage of that um but let's go ahead and get inside and take a look at it guys all right guys and here we go so here's the front of the box it looks like you got deacon uh, sitting up on his bike i'm over here on the side you got a horde of zombies coming up and this is like one of the reasons why i'm real interested in this game is this is, I, I believe it takes place in like the pacific northwest which i just love Absolutely love the Pacific Northwest. So game theme there is something that's going to interest me. Um, I think this looks like uh, Deacon and his, looks like his proposing to his wife in the back with a waterfall. Um, and on this side, you got some more hordes of zombies. Just, or where they come, I think they call them creepers or something like that is what, from my understanding, not zombies. Top of the box is pretty cool. You got uh, Deacon riding his motorcycle and you got some, uh, rabid wolf looks like a pack of wolf chicken chasing after him. Uh, so overall, the outside, yeah, the outside of the box is extremely nice. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. Okay, so now we're one more layer deep. We'll take a look at this box. And, okay, sorry, it goes, looks like it goes this way. And so you got Days Gone, Collector's Edition, across that side. It looks like it splits down, down the way. Nothing really in the back, just has like a, it looks like it's like a leather aesthetic, but it's not, it's just a normal box. It does have a nice look to it. And then over here, looks like you got some kind of, I don't know what that is, maybe like a bobcat or something with like a chain in its mouth. Pretty cool looking. And let's go ahead and, all right. Yeah, this comes with quite a bit of stuff. Um, we'll go actually back, I'll backtrack just a little bit. Um, but we're gonna have inside of here we will have the Days Gone game for the PlayStation 4 system plus custom steelbook, Deacon and Bike statue uh, by Gentle Giant, physical and digital original music, six collector's pens, physical and digital mini art book by Dark Horse Comics. That's pretty cool. They got Dark Horse to do that. A sew on patch, 40 cows, and a voucher for DLC content. So this was what, 150? And like I said, this, the Retro Game Store. I had 20% off for pre-order, so it was a really good deal in my opinion. But I still think even at, um, okay, mini art book contains spoilers in open until the story is complete. Okay. Uh, well, spoiler alert, I guess. So here is the mini art book, which we will be taking a look at the end. And just like it said, uh, there are spoilers in it. So if you don't want to be spoiled then don't look and here we have the um, steelbook so it's a nice matte finish and this has the same symbol here which is on the <laughs> I think that is pretty funny though well, they actually give you like a warning big red warning on top that's cool that they actually tell you that that there are spoilers in there but here is the um, steelbook and what's in here so this is inside of here is the actual soundtrack or 
just like it says original music and it's actually clear in there but as you can see that's the original music and there I guess there's gonna be at some place in here there will be some digital codes for that holy cow what else do we got here the game is in here it's pretty stuck down in here pretty good and so this is just the actual game itself and I'll go ahead and open that just Okay, and so on the inside, like we'll go back here. Here's the outside of the game cover. Here's the back. And on the inside, they actually have a really nice artwork. Inside cover art. And then there's just a little pamphlet here that actually has the um, downloadable content. So we powered our way through the back. I don't know why it does that, but there you have to rip the back of the box open to get to what looks like the patch and decals, which I don't think I'm going to go into that. That's just a little patch and de decals. I'm not going to open that right now. And this must be the, the buttons so you get okay so you get some cool buttons in there it's pretty cool and like I said this is just a patch and decal and some decals I'm not going to go into that at the moment all right guys forgive me it took me a couple minutes to have this the statue um, packed up very tightly so it took me Took me a little bit to get get everything off, but this is the the highlight I'd say of this collector's edition. So you got Deacon sitting here with a zombie with a, looks like a fresh bullet hole in his uh, through his dome, uh, sitting up against his bike. And from what I understand, uh, early on I just have watched a couple of reviews and they've kind of compared it in a sense to somewhat of like Red Dead Redemption to where Red Dead you were just kind of is almost you could call like a, a horseback simulator and this is you travel around on your bike quite a bit so whether that's something that you think you'd like or not like that seems like it plays a pretty large part of the game which is I guess why they on the statue they had the bike along with Deacon to kind of show the significance of how important it is but it is really nice I mean extremely nice detail uh, like the weathering and and detail just throughout the bike is uh, it's awesome I'm really really impressed actually so let's see if we can get some here's a look at it from this side you can kind of see like the front of the bike there and you have a little playing it there I was not um to be honest I was like when I saw the statue at first uh like as far as like what was coming with it I was like ah you know I don't know how much I like this with the guy with Deacon sitting there with his bike but after seeing how good the detail is on everything and on him too they have really nice detail as far as like his tattoos and uh jewelry and just like the weathering on his clothing as well i think they did an excellent job so uh it's a really nice piece extremely happy with it and you can see the even just some like of the weathering and detail that they have on the seat of the bike and all together i mean it's uh did a really good job with this Let's go ahead and uh, pop them on the table on the, uh, the spinner. All right, and here we go. Let's take a full 360 degree uh, look at Deacon with his bike and the dead zombie. But let me know what you guys are uh, thinking down in the comments. What do you uh, you think it looks pretty nice or what? 
I really like the detail. I think the detail is excellent on this. Yeah, just all the mud on the tires and fenders of the bike and everything. The bullet hole in the zombie's head actually looks really cool too. So this overall is an extremely nice, nice little uh, little statue. All right, now as far as the art book, uh, I'm just going to flip through a little bit. It's a hardcover, obviously. Got a nice back cover as well. Um, be aware that there could be spoilers in here, so I'm probably not going to flip through much of it. I will try to tell you how many pages it is. Um, looks like it's about 46, maybe 50, 50 or so pages all together. It's uh, the final page of the book. And I'll just flip through a couple pages, so I don't want to go through all of it. Um, here's the beginning. Let's see if I can avoid spoilers. But extreme. There you go. Some nice art of the bike. And this is a very solid quality art book as well. So I'm definitely digging it. But I think that's it, guys. I don't want to get any further than this into the book, just in case, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, just in case there are in there. But extremely happy with it. So let's just do an overview real quick of everything we get. All right, so to recap, we get the six buttons or pins. Um, we get the patch with um, some decals or stickers. We get the art book. You get the game with uh, DLC, DLC content. You get the steel book with the physical soundtrack. And you get the statue of Deacon and his bike. So I think I don't think I'm don't think I'm missing anything. I think that's it all. But yes, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and it's all extremely nice quality. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, so if you guys uh, like this, you may want to go and try and pick it up if it's still available. I don't know if it's sold out or not as far as um, what availability is for it. But time for me to go start playing the game, <laughs> game that I've been playing, waiting a couple years to start playing. So let me know down in the comments if you guys picked it up as well, if you guys are enjoying it or what your thoughts are in the game. Um, to this point, or if you're completely not interested and thinks it looks like a train wreck. Uh, curious, curious to know how widespread the comments are on this, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.